Okay, so this is the brachial plexus. Now, many students look at this and see it as a very daunting thing to memorize. However, if you know how to draw the structure of it, um, you realize that it becomes very easy to learn. So we're going to start by drawing three parallel lines, like so. And then right here, you're going to draw an M. And then right here, you want to draw like a sloppy M, like that. And now you just have to make two X's, one like this, and then one like this. And now right here, you're going to draw an extension like this. And now you're going to make two extensions like that. And then this is just detailed. Now there's some branches off from here and here and here and there. So that's the brachial plexus. Now, if you practice enough, you can do this in under 10 seconds or 15, depends. But um, now I'm going to teach you the actual nerves of the brachial plexus. Uh, but first, there's five divisions on the brachial plexus. You have your roots, your trunks, your divisions, your cord, and your uh, branches. The acronym to remember this is remember to drink cold beer. So that's your roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. Now for the cords, the, the structure of it is, this one is your lateral cord, this one is your posterior cord, and this one is your medial cord. Now to remember which one is which, the posterior cord lies underneath or posterior to your axillary artery. The lateral is to the, to the lateral of your um, axillary artery and the medial is the, to the medial side of your axillary, so that's how you can remember those. And um, the nerves are so here you have marmu, so that's musculocutaneous, axillary, radial, median, and ulnar. For radial, um, the innervations of the radial nerve is best. So that's your brachial radialis, all of your extensor muscles, uh, your supinator, and your triceps. Um, and everything else on your um, arm is your median nerve. And then ulnar only uh, innervates the flexor carpi ulnaris, as well as the flexor digitorum profundus and uh, muscles of your hand. Now we have the lateral pectoral muscle uh, nerve, sorry, and the lower subscapular, the thoracal dorsal. The thoracal dorsal innervates your latissimus dorsi, and then the upper uh, subscapular. The, the upper and lower innervates your subscapularis, and um, this one is your medial antibrachial cutaneous and your medial brachial cutaneous. These are your sensory uh, nerve, and we already mentioned the medial uh, pectoral. This one is your suprascapular. This one is your subclavian nerve. This one is your dorsal scapular. This one right there, that little tiny uh, branch is your phrenic. That innervates your diaphragm. And then finally, you have the long thoracic. This innervates your uh, serratus anterior. Now, when this uh, nerve is damaged, you have something called the wing scapula. Um, that's because your serratus anterior is not holding your um, your scapula in, their, uh, in the right place. So that is your brachial plexus.